You know, air plants or tillandsias are a great way to get plant life into your life. From these little Spanish moss or old man's beard through all these other ones, you won't believe how easy they are to grow. And if you're a renter, if you've got kids, it's fantastic because if you want to move or if they leave house, they can take the plants with them. I've got three great ideas for you to grow them outside and indoors. Now, the first one could not be simpler. If you collect rocks like I do, you know, that have a, a little bit of character, you, well, you can turn those into a, a stand which your tillandsias, your air plants, can sit on for life. So just pick any interesting rock with a bit of texture and colour to it. Now, the first thing you'll need is some, I know it looks like copper, but it's actually anodized aluminium wire. Copper actually doesn't help the plants at all. In fact, it kills them. Around about 20, 30 centimetres long, Fold it over, leave about a third hanging off the end, and then just have it nice and tight and secure on the rock. Then make a bit of a loop on the top with your finger. Select which tillandsia you're going to use. Oh, this one's great. OK, little furry little chap, look at it. It's like a little exploding firework. Secure it into the wire, so it just goes through some of the little leaves. Then that's it. It just sits there. It's that easy. Now, you might be wondering how these air plants live without any soil. Well, most of them are actually epiphytes. They grow up in trees and they just hang around. My next little project is a terrific twist on a Tillandsia terrarium. And it starts with some sand. And just create a little bit of a seascape in the bottom. Now, to do that, you're going to need some interesting shells. Little starfish. So just get a hold of all those little shells that you've got lying around. A uh, nice little fellow there. And then carefully push in a piece of coral. OK, now there's our aquarium, minus the water, minus the fish. So we need our little tillandsia. Cut off half a metre of fishing line and then tie it around the base of your air plant. Just secure it so it's nice and firm. Then we get a sea urchin. Again, you can get these from the craft shops. And then just poke the fishing line through the top. Watch this. This is really cute. It then takes on... Oh, it's a jellyfish. <laughs> I love it. And you're just going to hang it. Now, to do that, you need to piece of stick and then just tie that off. Will you look at that? Isn't it great? I really love this one. This is, this is one you're going to have a lot of fun with. Earlier in the year, I showed you some ways of reusing old picture frames. Well, I had a couple left over, and I thought, yes, this might be an idea to make some living wall art using some timber and some of our beautiful tillandsias. I've cut a section of wire from this little fellow here. Then, using a staple gun, you just secure it to the frame. OK, now the next step I just went out in the garden, picked up a few little branches, but these are reasonably single plane, and then coming out. We're going to secure it using some florist wire through the wire, through the timber, and then just tighten it off really tightly. Now, just continue that process in two or three places, the branch onto your wire frame. To hold the frame while we finish it off, our bucket of terrarium sand will be ideal. Beautiful collection of tillandsias here, lime greens and greys, some in flower. Go nuts. You can just do any arrangement that you like. I rather like this little stem down the bottom here and then just secure it. There we go. Cool. Now, in most cases, it actually may sit there without any wiring. Just the arrangement of the branches. Now, what it's missing is a bit of old man's beard. Hanging bit there, it's a little bit there. Looking after tillandsias could not be any easier. Whilst they don't need any soil, they do need a little bit of misting. So during summer, you'll need to spray it maybe twice a day. Once in the morning and then once in the afternoon. Little job the kids can do when they come home from school. If it starts to really dry out and you start to panic, just dunk it in a little bit of water for a while. That's all they need. The great thing is, with all these little Tillandsia displays, they're going to last a lifetime. Your kids are going to enjoy them, and so will you.